Right. So if you are producing content with AI, which by now I do hope you're doing it because you're able to produce content like this that is tailored to your brand, has featured images like so, has proper tables of contents, in article images, right? Internal links, external links, also has videos inside of the articles, also has a call to action, in this case, a purchase call to action to buying a surfboard because this article is about surfboards and surf sports in Portugal. Um, it's crazy, right? The amount of freedom and the amount of stuff you can do with AI, right? All these, including the images, are all AI generated as well as the content. And you can simply click here to publish to your WordPress site, Shopify store, Webflow, whatever it is. Now, by now, you should already be using AI, but there's something you should know about as well, right? First is that the content that's on here is not just randomly produced, right? Because with the tool like Journalist, if you go here to Brands, what this does, right, before I show you how it works, is you're connecting Journalist AI with your brand, right? And your brand should have, or most of them have, assets associated with it. And an asset can be a social media platform, right? It can be your YouTube, can be your Twitter, can be your Facebook, can be your Instagram, right? Pinterest for images. All these are social assets, right? Then you can have, for example, text assets. Could be some documents, right? Could be a knowledge base, for example. Could be whatever it is, right? Any text-based document, right? On social, there's video, audio, images, there's a bunch of them, right? But you could separate these into audio assets as well, right? Maybe some uh, audio files of you talking, whatever it is, right? All these are your brand's assets. And what you do with this tool called Journalist AI is you're essentially connecting your brand and all of these assets to Journalist AI. So Journalist AI will know as much as you do, you being the owner and the creator of the brand, so you know you are the person that knows the most about your brand, right? Journalist AI will know as much as you do about your own brand, right? So the idea is that because it knows every single thing about your brand and it remembers every single thing because it has access to all your socials, right? Of course, not the back end, only the front end, right? It doesn't need your passwords. Uh, because it has access to all these assets, it knows your brands in and out, right? It knows how your brand speaks, the tone of voice, the images it uses, the, the mannerisms, right? So it's to produce brand tailored content, right? So if you just go here to generate articles, there's a bunch of modes, right? You should go for the advanced mode, right? Because these are simple titles and keyword based. Going to the advanced mode, uh, I won't do this right now, but you have to create a preset. I'll just go to the presets I already have created. Just go here to edit this one. There's a bunch of stuff you can do right here, right? You can automatically add videos to the articles, images. These could be AI images, license-free photos, custom images from your brand, stock photos. There's a bunch of stuff you can do here. Automatically add external links. So you have an article right here about finance, right? Let's say, for example, we're automatically going to add external links to authoritative sources in your niche, right? For example, if this is finance, we'll link out to Forbes, we'll link out to Investopedia, maybe TechCrunch, right? We'll link out to authoritative sources in your niche. And of course, the context, the context of the sentence within we link out to, it's of course going to make sense according to all the rest of the article and the anchor text, which is a little text you click to go out to a link, it's also going to make sense, right? You can also automate internal linking, so links to internal pages on your site, maybe to other blog, other blog posts, sorry. Again, these interlinks are done in a way that makes sense. We're never going to interlink an article about finance to an article about dogs, right? Doesn't make sense. But uh, yeah, that's not really the point of this video right here. The point is, you know, you can even add calls to action like I showed you before. You can select here the uh, creativity, the tone of voice, but also you can select a brand, right? If you select a brand, right? My Shopify store brand, right? This brand or this brain, right? Has access to all my Shopify stores, social media, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, uh, whatever, right? All those, as well as my site. It reads every single uh, information that I put out there on the internet, right? And then journalist AI learns based on all this info to produce the most possible tailored content to my brand, right? So if I go here to my history again, I'll just select a random one here. For example, this is an article about, or actually these are five articles about in the gardening niche, right? For example, 10 tips for starting a garden as a newbie, right? All these uh, images can be changed. This is the featured image. Table of contents, interactive as well, which is great. And all this content right here, which I won't go over right now, all the bolded out words, all the internal links, all the external links, all the in-article images, all the videos, these are all brand tailored, right? All the tables, sometimes we include tables, sometimes we add bullets when it makes sense, right? We don't just add random stuff. All of this is tailored to the brand, right? It speaks in the brand's tone of voice. It has links to the brand's products or services, right? Images and videos are all from the brand, right? And this is achieved if you leverage AI tools. I'll let you know that this is a tool I own. You can try it at tryjournalist.com. I'll leave a link for this in the description. 
But any other tool doesn't do this, right? Regular tools can generate content. Now, granted, they cannot generate content like this with featured images, tables of contents, internal links, external links, images, uh, videos, calls to action tables. They don't do it, right? But on top of that, Journalist AI allows you to connect your brand so the content output is 100% tailored to whatever the brand it is that you're trying to produce content for, whether that's a personal brand, a e-commerce, e-commerce sorry, Shopify store, um, a more uh, established brand, whatever it is, right? If you connect your brand here, it will learn about it and produce tailored content on it. Super powerful. Like I said before, you can even add, can even add sorry, your custom images. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Try it out. It's super, super powerful. Um, yeah, that's essentially it. I just wanted to come on here and record a quick video because I think this is super, super powerful, right? This isn't just this isn't just some generic chat GPT content, right? This is content that's tailored to your brand with images, videos, links, all this is super, super powerful. And before I do go, I do want to end with an analogy I used to do, or I usually do, I guess, which is the stair analogy, right? Let's say up here is success, right? Let's say success is ranking this content on Google and getting more leads and getting more clients because at the end of the day, it's all about the money, right? You're producing content to your brand to, in theory, increase its perceived value, increase its visibility to get more sales to your products or services, right? And before, you used to have to write the content or actually come up with the idea to write the content, write the content, proofread it, find the best place to add images in. Before that, actually find the images, then placing them in the article, then figuring out what's the best part of the article to include links, internal links, external links, then adding the videos, then interlinking between all those. There's a bunch of steps you needed to do before, all manually. And with tools like journalists, you skip all of these steps and you're up here, right? You start from up here, while if you were to do it manually, you start from down here. Even if you were to use ChatGPT, right? You would start from up here, right? Not up here as well, right? You start from down here, I guess, right? Not as up here as journalists, because it does all for you. By the way, I didn't mention this, but you can set up an what, I, what we call an auto blog, right? Which essentially you're connecting Journalist AI with your website and the integrations is WordPress, Wix, Blogger, uh, Webflow, all those. And you connect Journalist with your website, right? And Journalist generates, plus it publishes, that's a P, content on autopilot for you every single day, week, month, hour. You can set the frequency however you like, right? So you skip all these steps, right? Because up here, even if you were to do all these steps, uh, figuring out what to, what to write the content about, writing the content, getting the image, getting the videos, doing all the links, you still have to go to the back end of your CMS and publish the content, right? It takes so much time. And what journalist does is essentially cuts all the time and effort, right? Because you skip the line, right? You start from up here. Of course, you need to, of course, do some final touches and change some things up because that's always going to be the case. But you get to skip all of these steps, right? Just by using a tool like journalist AI. By the way, I did mention the autoblog, so I do want to let you know how this works or to which platforms we integrate with. We integrate with WordPress, so if you have a WordPress site, you can do this. If you have a Shopify store and want to automate the, the blog for SEO, so have the, uh, the AI write articles based on your store, on your products with proper calls to action to your products, about your niche, all that, all done on autopilot. We can do it for you. Ghost Weeks, Webflow Blogger. And before I do go, if you go to the autoblog, if you set up a new one, you can select the frequency here, however, however many posts you want to post every single day. Let's say you want to post 300 posts every single month. You can do it. Or most times people just do every five posts, sorry, every couple, every single week. But you can do every six hours, 12 hours every day. You can choose the frequency, right? So if I hit save right here, what's going to happen is journalist AI, which is linked in this case to my WordPress site, right, is going to post all, actually 300 posts every single day, right? And these posts, if we expand, these are, by the way, these are posts, if I expand on this, right, if this is an individual, individual post right here, all these posts are going to have the featured image, a table of contents, proper content structure, right, in-article images, in-article videos relevant to what the content is about, internal links, right, linking out to other posts because these will interlink between each other, external links linking out to authoritative sources, tables, bullets when it makes sense, calls to action to my products or services, right, and on top of that, this, if I connect it with my, connected, sorry, with my brand, is going to be brand tailored, speaking in my brand's tone of voice, using my mannerisms, using my images, using my videos, using all the things that my brand uh, is about, right? It is super, super powerful. So don't sleep on it. Again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. It's stridejournalist.com. Uh, try it out. You get three articles for free. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know why. And yeah, that's essentially it. Try it out, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.